Good Sunday afternoon. I'm Stormwatch 9 meteorologist Matt Honig. We're breaking into programming because we have some severe weather taking place in southern parts of New Hampshire right now. There's a flash flood warning in effect for the greater Manchester area. This goes until 345 this afternoon. If you've looked outside in the past half hour, you know the rain is really coming down at a good clip in the Queen City and just east of town. There's a severe thunderstorm warning. This includes a good chunk of rocking Ham County until 130 today. This storm located kind of near Candia, Raymond and Chester could be producing wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour, and this is tracking off to the east at about 20 miles per hour. Strongest part of the storm right now is basically right over the Route 101 corridor between exits three and five, and those of you along the seacoast need to pay close attention to this storm. Should this hold together, looks like it'll arrive in the Epping area around 115 new fields a little bit past 130 today and the greater Portsmouth area needs to prepare for this storm shortly before two o'clock this afternoon. Now the other issue we have going on in addition to those damaging wind gusts and of course very heavy rainfall is the concern for flooding in and around Manchester. So this is almost the thing of bigger concern at this point for those of you in Amherst, Bedford, right up into the Queen City and even as far north as hooks it. Some issues here due to flooding. Doppler radar estimates in the past hour indicating significant rainfall in and around Bedford and the west side of Manchester, anywhere between an inch and a half and two and a half inches of rainfall. It's really, really recommended that you avoid travel in Manchester right now. And here's why we have a storm report coming in off of Beach Street. Uh, where it appears that there uh, is some sort of water rescue underway right now. Um, Manchester Fire Department reporting there's a vehicle stuck in floodwaters on Beach Street with water about two to three feet deep. So as a reminder, in the flash flood warning area, travel really not advised at this point. A general reminder to just never drive through flooded roadways because you truly do not know how deep the water can be. In some cases, a flash flood warning is issued when sudden flooding is imminent or occurring. In this case, it is occurring right now, generated by torrential tropical downpours. If you can find a way to access higher ground and remember to never cross those flooded roadways. So again, a couple of things we're watching in southern parts of New Hampshire, especially in Hillsborough and Rockingham counties right now. Severe thunderstorm warning, flash flood warning in effect until uh, one uh, flash flood warning until 345, the severe thunderstorm warning until 130 today. Impact weather continues through this evening with more downpours and storms possible in many parts of the state. We'll have continuing coverage on this flash flood situation in Manchester coming up in the next half hour. For now, we'll send you back to regular programming.